Hey everyone, welcome back. Oh my, I am so sorry. I must have left out all this money accidentally and oh, you must feel so bad because I have all this money that I just have so much of that I just left out in the open for you to see. Oh, that's embarrassing. I, I'm so sorry, you guys. Fuck, how could I have done that? Okay, that was a fun bit, but I actually do have to go put these away so I don't lose them. Sorry I had to flaunt my wealth there a little bit, you guys, but get used to it. Because today, there is no escaping it. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I like to use YouTube as an escape from my problems. But today is not that day. Because right up there on the number one trending spot is Kendall Jenner's home tour. An entire video just sitting there, ready to remind me that, compared to her, I'm poor as shit. And I know money isn't everything, but it provides comfort, and Kendall looks very comfortable. So let's indulge. Let's watch Kendall Jenner's house tour. Hey D, it's Kendall Jenner. Welcome to my house. Come on in. D, as in Duncan? Kind of the first thing when you walk in, I'm very proud of it, is my James Terrell. I have always wanted a James Terrell, so I was really excited when I got it. It's so peaceful and calming, and he actually makes these pieces to meditate in front of. So the first thing she shows off is an orb. I mean, I can't hate on it. That is a very impressive orb. As far as orbs go, that's pretty good. Ah, rich people are so weird. When they brought these flower pillows, I was like, oh my god, I need these. They make it feel really good in here. These wooden beams add a really nice touch. And then I have this really cool 1965 radio phonographo. I just got it for Christmas. I'm super excited about it. I went to the record shop with my friends. We got a bunch of stuff. I need to pop into it. This has the same energy of when you'd go over to your friend's house as a kid and they'd spend the entire time just showing off all of their cool things to you that they got for their birthday or for Christmas. Here's what I don't get. Why does this video exist? Why did people put time and money into filming this to show it off? Like, why are we, the audience, watching this? I know why I'm watching it, because I'm filming, but why is this uploaded in the first place? Like, what was the drive of the filmmakers? Am I looking too deep into this? Yeah, probably. Right off the bar is just a really nice kind of dark moody powder room. This, though, is this massive stone sink that I was like dying for. And it's about 300 pounds. And the guy who did my house basically said it was the hardest part of the entire house was putting this in. They had to like try a million times because they had to like restructure the walls behind it and stuff, so. That is the weirdest bathroom I've ever seen. Is it so hard to just own a regular sink? Why would you want to wash your hands in a rock? I don't know how expensive this rock sink was, but I know that if I ever found out uh, like an exact number, I would go insane. <laughs> this is my office area. I hang in here with the people I work with a lot of the time. I don't personally use it a lot, but my girls do. You mean to tell me Kendall Jenner doesn't work much? Wow. That is a surprise to me. Then you kind of lead into this room, which I have now created into an art studio. This was a movie theater for like the first year that I lived here, but I had an idea. I was really stressed out. I was working a lot and me and my friends used to just go in the backyard and paint. I was like, I do that all the time and I don't really use this room as a theater so much. So I converted it and I love it. Okay, this part seems nice. She modified a room to tailor to her personality. That's nice. And it shows. This room is the most warm and human-looking room of the entire house so far. It's the one that actually looks like people live in it. Hang on. Those paintbrushes don't look very used. And wait, yeah, all of those paint tubes are completely full. You don't think this room was staged to make Kendall Jenner look more humanizing before a camera crew walked through it, do you? Because... 
That would be crazy. I was here last night, so like there's still stuff set up for me. Just last night painting. I'm not good at painting, but I thoroughly enjoy it and I consider it a form of therapy. Yep. The paint is still wet. Just last night painting. I'm not good at painting. If it's from last night, why would the paint still... Oh my god. Is this what rage feels like? But it's cool. I have all these little jumpsuits. There's literally six of them just for anyone who comes in here. So you don't have to get dirty. Or you can get dirty and not worry about it. One has my name on it. My assistant's got this for me for my birthday. Or for Christmas. I don't remember. I think Christmas. Welcome back to Duncan's Advice Corner. Um, if you forget the occasion where somebody gave you a gift and it's on camera, feel free to do another take of that shot so you don't look like an asshole. That way, you can at least pretend you care enough about the exchange where you look a little bit more appreciative to the people who gave you the gift, if that's something you care about. I have all these really cool faucets and they kind of recommend that you don't clean them a lot so that they kind of start to age. Because it kept that farmy-ish vibe that I have going on. Farmy-ish? She thinks her house is farmy-ish? I'm gonna come out and say it. I don't think Kendall Jenner knows what a farm is. This wall of magazines is something that Kim started a long time ago. We all kind of copied her, and so I'll give her full credit for this idea, but we all have these walls in our house. It makes you feel good about stuff, you know? I mean, yeah. If I dedicated an entire wall of my house to elegant and photoshopped pictures of myself, um, I'd feel pretty good about that too. In the hallway on the way to my room, you have these two Barbara Krugers. I bought them a few years ago at Art Basel. They were actually my first probably really big piece of art that I ever bought, and this wall was just so perfect for them. I like really just colorful stuff that makes you feel good. I know art is subjective, but why do rich people have the worst taste in art? Would you want these hanging in your rooms? I know I wouldn't. And no offense to the artist, it looks cool. I think this work belongs in like a gallery, not a living room. This is my master. There's this first little sitting area when you walk in. I usually come in here and meditate, chill out, zone out. Behind me is my Tracy Emin. I got this a few years ago and I'm almost positive that there's measurements up top and then the bottom says, glad to hear you're a happy girl. I'm pretty sure that the measurements are an ex-boyfriend of Tracy Emin's penis size. And then the message at the bottom is to his new girlfriend saying, I'm glad to hear you're happy. Because he has a really big penis, I believe. At the end of the day, people can decorate their houses however they want. But come on. I found this really beautiful stone and it was called Gabbana and my dog's name was Gabbana and she had just passed away like a week prior. It felt like I was, you know, supposed to have it and it has that green tone in it, kind of connecting all the greens around the house, the earthy tones that I love. I, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Thank you, AD, so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my house. But it is sadly time for the rest to go. Well, that sure was a tour of a really big house. So what did we learn? Why was this trending? I know she's part of the Kardashian family, and social status and wealth is kind of part of their image. But I had no idea there was a big enough audience for this sort of content for this video to have 3 million views in one day. Fine. It doesn't affect me. It's out of my control. And I've contributed to the problem now because I watched this whole video. So one of those 3 million views is mine. I guess if there's a moral for you to take away from this video, it's that the existence of billionaires is bad. Also, the way our country's going, there's a class war coming, so don't get very comfortable to this style of video. By the way, when the class war does start, I call dibs on Kendall Jenner's house. Uh, I want to turn that into a cat cafe. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching my newest video. Feel free to unsubscribe whenever you want.
and hit the bell notification uh, so you never miss a mental breakdown. Okay, bye. Love you.